Electronic Arts Presents! Oracon, the Martial Spirit! Why do I subject myself into these? Hello everybody, I'm your friend in neighborhood Let's Play Spider-Man well, welcome you to Let's Play Budokan, as we can see from the title screen. I don't like this game. It's a legendary game, after all. You should like it, but I don't. Maybe it's because I was never good at it. But anyway, sorry, got an itchy nose. Anyway, as I was saying, Budokan. It's a legendary game. You have several types of ways of fighting. You can fight with your fists and such, you know, like karate. Or... I think it's karate style. And then you have... Um, as you can see from uh, there, you got, got the uh, kendo stick, you got... Uh, the bow staff, and I think nunchucks. I think those are the... Uh, equivalent weapons that you can use in this game. Yeah, there, identify the family crest. I gotta, lo gotta love all the cracked versions of these games. You don't have to do all the copy protection and all that. Because those can be a bit annoying. So here we are at the central place. Pretty much all of these four rooms here are just to practice uh, all the uh, weapons and fighting styles. And on the upper left is actually a battle law system that you can duel against another player. And up here you can talk to the dojo master, I think. And from the bottom you will leave to the tournament. And that is pretty much the idea of the game. You go into an, an international tournament to be the best Budokan ever. Or maybe not a Budokan, but still, you, the World Championship type of a thing. And uh, you use uh, different kind of styles. Uh, if if you prefer something over another, you will just do that and battle against the enemies. And some of the enemies actually have, well, not enemies, opponents. Some of the opponents have weapons that you cannot use. Like there is one that has that... Uh, chain with the uh, ball at the end and there's another who uses uh, tonfa sticks also known as police buttons um, and something else uh, there are all different kind of uh, opponents that you will have to meet here in the game and I have to say I have never understood how this game works. Maybe that is why I never liked this game, because I never understood how all of the, um, how everything works in the game. And you have to build up your key power, if you know what key is, or chi, however you want to pronounce it. I think it's uh, pronounced key, but I could be wrong. Could be. But let us practice. Let us go to Jigou Rencho. I could go for Kumite. But then again, I would get my ass kicked, because uh, sparring is something where I would usually get my ass kicked anyway. I don't know if I will go into the tournament. Probably will do just the uh, first battle. I'm sure of it. But uh, for now, let us just uh, practice the bow. That's it. As you can see, you can move around with your bow stick. You got your stamina up there. Which is uh, both your health and also, well, stamina. I think, or maybe you had the health uh, separately because I'm just practicing. You got all kinds of attack moves here. You can uh, protect yourself from different angles. Gotta love all these uh, sound effects. Oh, the only problem with always being with Amiga is that uh, even if it has a stereo system, it's not a very good stereo system because uh, right now I can hear all the uh, all the sound effects come from the left channel. How did I jump? Do I? Uh... Oh, you just push. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, all the moves that you have. Uh, yep. 
and from here you can actually attack as well. I'm sure I yep. There's a superpower move. Yeah. Some of the moves that you have are not as easy to do as you think. Like uh, going down here, then you push the fire button, and then you push it right. Well, it can be easy or not. It just takes a little while to handle them. Uh, how do I leave here? Just pressing the egg, egg. escape. No, no samba function key. It would be nice if I, nice if I could just escape from this predicament. <sighs> Fine, I'll just uh, waste my stamina. Yeah. I thought that would use a lot of stamina doing this uh, spinning attack. But I'm apparently not. What if I just keep on jumping? Whee! You would think that that would uh, help you get some of the stamina out. As it does, it works really well. Let's keep on bouncing and attacking. Let's use all of my stamina up. So I can leave this place. I'm sure there is some kind of a way of getting out of this screen a lot better, but I don't know. Should have checked that before I started this. But hey, you know me. I don't check things. There we go. Do a bow. Hmm. Should I spar? Yeah. I'll spar. Going against a computer opponent to practice. Kumite with Sankyu, Ikkyu, or Shodan. I will go with Sankyu. A very Japanese way of saying thank you. Thank you. Because some. Uh, never mind. There we have the key. Which is important to have. <clears throat> because you will do more damage the higher your key is, because that is the control of your essence. Oh, that. As you can see, this guy is not really that good of a fighter. Then again, he is the easiest level. So how did I... No, that's not what that's not what I wanted. No, stop it! It's not what I want. I just practiced all these controls and I've already forgotten how to do things. Here we go. It's building up my key and also getting back my stamina. Gotcha. Uh, that was a hard hit. Yeah, gotcha. I win! It's not gonna be this easy. Your speed is most exemplary. You show the precision of a master. Your actions show a good understanding of key power. You could benefit from a wider range of moves. Damage inflicted, 4,000. Amazing that I actually got compliments from the master, from the sensei. Usually I don't. It, uh, I do remember that it always said that I have to know how to control my key power. Well, eventually when I knew what key power was, I guess I have now knowledge of how to control myself. But let's do a tournament and let's just do one fight in the tournament. Do I need to go up into the dojo for that? I thought I just needed to leave. Or do I need to register myself uh, to get a chance at the tournament. And we talk? What do we talk about? Do tell. Sensing that the approach of danger a bird attacks, conserve your powers until they are truly needed. Yeah, when you go talk to the sensei, he will give you fortune cookie advice. Now that sounded very racist, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he gives you good advice uh, in the 
very uh, stereotypical way of uh, saying something that sounds mystical, but also makes sense. So yeah, he pretty much says that uh, it's uh, always good to observe your opponent, to serve and conserve your key power and attack when it's in the most vulnerable point for against the opponent. That's what that's the advice I would give anyway. It's the most sensible and most uh, strategical way to go. So I guess this Budokan is the place that we need to go to. This is where we go to the tournament. Yes. There we are traveling to the uh, arena. Da -da 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 -da. While everybody else just stands still. And they're like, don't move. Then he will not notice us. I don't know why I gave them an oriental of the... Uh, an oriental accent there. Sorry. I don't want to be racist or anything. It, it's just some some people are so sensitive these days about racism and everything. But then again, there's a lot of things that people are so sensitive about. Can we get into the tournament now? Thank you. Just needed to push the fire button to get into it. I don't love the music though in this in this game. It's very atmospheric. Very atmospheric indeed. And yes, I know. The angry bird is watching us. Match 1. Goro Suzuki. Dojo Ozeki Ryu. His rank is Shodan. Weapon Karate. Goro is better known for his sushi eating ability than his karate skill, but don't underestimate him. He's got a good punch and a hefty kick. You better stay alert. Okay, let's continue. Do I get to choose my weapon now, or...? There we go. So yeah, pretty much you can go just hand... You can go... You can beat him up with any weapon you want. But I'm gonna do the honorable way, because he is an unarmed man. I shall go with karate myself. Because that is the more honorable way. Because uh, it's not only just about them winning the tournament or anything. There's got to be some honor in the battle system as well. So if he uses karate, I shall use karate. If there's somebody who uses kendo, I shall use kendo. But then when it comes to the other enemies, uh, the other opponents uh, who have like the chain or the Tom Foss and who knows what I will use, if anything. Who knows how long I will play this game, anyway. So here we are. In the tournament. <laughs> Some of these moves just look so silly. But they also make sense. Hey! Actually... Actually, defended myself against one of his attacks. Come on. Oh crap, he's good. I'm not good at all at this. That looked like it hurt. Yeah, like I said, I'm not good at this game at all. The thing is, you really do need to conserve that key. Because if you, the key is key to winning these battles. The more key you have, the better you will do. Just keep on the attack. Oh. God damn, he is good! Or maybe die. it's just that I suck a lot! I mean, seriously, this guy's beating me up! <sighs> yeah, when you go to the tournament, that is when the difficulty kicks up a lot. I mean, I practiced against the easiest level, and you cannot choose the levels of difficulty here, and he is rank Shodan. So if you really, really want to get good at this game, you gotta practice. You gotta spar against all the difficulty levels, because uh, 
Like I said, he's a shodan in karate, and it shows that I cannot defeat him because uh, if I go to practice karate right now, I don't know if I can even beat the easiest one. Well, let's go check. Let's just let's just do this. Let's see if I can actually handle karate because these controls uh, they're good, but. It takes a long time to learn all of them on which uh, combination does what. So I'm just gonna go practice and do a little moves here and there just to just to orient myself that I don't fumble around like I did in the tournament. So that is lifting my leg up and then I can do a kick. I kick. Okay. If I pull back, I will kick with my other leg. Okay. If I fire, push fire button down, I will do a punch. Okay. All right. And those are my, are my wax on, wax off. Okay. What if I? Okay, that's the jump kick. Yep. Interesting. If I do a jump, and then I push the fire button, and keep the fire button down, he will automatically go into this position. That's actually a good thing to know. Okay. Okay. I think I got this. And also, the way you move backwards and forwards, then that, that is not just pushing left or right. That is actually pushing down right or down left, de depending on which direction you want to go to. And jumping is, uh, of course, up right or up left or just up. That's quite a jump, if you ask me. Of course, the more stupid thing is that after you do a kick like that or anything, you gotta let go of the uh, fire button. Otherwise, he will just uh, keep on... He will keep the position like this. But when, once you let go of the fire button, you're good to go. So gotta remember that, that after get, getting a hit on the opponent, I gotta let go of the fire button. And some of these... Uh, Moves that take a little while to do. Like there's a little delay in the... Not really a delay, you just gotta... Keep on pushing the dire the direction. For him to do the move. To completion. Am I tired yet? Am I tired yet? There we go. Finally. Now let us spar. Spar against... Uh, I'll go with EQ this time, because I have a little bit of an understanding with the uh, controls. Oh, come on. Doing a little uh, karate cob style there, going for high kicks and everything in a row. That is. No, no. First jump. Aha! I cornered him, so he was at fault. And now we start again. Let me build up a little bit of my key before I go on the assault. No, no, not fire button first, you moron. Too bad I cannot do the crane kick or anything. That would be awesome to be able to do. When will I learn? First, you need to wait for him to do the jump. Then you can do the jump kick. And he loses. 
Your speed is most exemplary, blow show good control, focus your key better, that is the text I always got, and I do remember. Choice of techniques show much practice. So I did I did well with everything else but the key this time. That's usually what I got anyway, that my key control is bad. And I know, it's not easy to gather up enough key. God damn it, will you learn? What we learn? See? The difficulty level has already risen a lot. I mean, I can barely get any kicks in or anything. I'm pretty much just wearing myself out. Oh, that's how you do that. Okay, I learned a new move. I didn't wonder how you do a roundhouse kick, but now I know. And the more you know. Come at me, bruh. I dare you. I'll do my little dance. Do 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 do. God damn! Can't they do anything to this guy? No. 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 Man, I've been getting a lot of hits on him, but his stamina is back to full. Duh. I gotta learn how to defend myself to get my key back. Come on. There's no way you can hit me. Pick me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! He's not even trying. That was a good hit that I got there. Because I am preserving my key. And also... Looking at the opponent. When he might strike. Or not. Something that he is doing a lot. Not striking. This is gonna take forever, isn't it? Ugh. Yeah. And I'm doing really badly because I cannot figure out the controls. Or I'm just doing badly because uh, I fumble up with the controls all the time. How does he get his stamina so... Uh, just kick me already! Do something to me! Kill me! <laughs> this is unbearable! Can I do a fault and call it quits? No. Mm, lost a lot of key. You are not helping my situation, old man. You just keep making it worse by doing nothing to me. Seriously? Will you just fall or something? Go down. Shut up. <sighs> Let go of the fire button, you moron! Not me, I let, I let go of the fire button, he just wouldn't stop doing the freaking... Ugh, this is annoying. Just destroy me! 
something, anything, please make this stop! I am fed up with you and your shenanigans already. Will you make this stop? Please make this stop. Thank you, you son of a bitch. <sighs> wow. He gave praise to me even if I lost. I don't care. It's just so... I don't understand this game. I mean, you use a lot of your stamina really quickly. That is understandable, because I just keep fumbling around and doing all kinds of kicks and punches and all the time just using my energy. That is understandable. But how the hell did that guy get his own stamina back so fast? While mine just wouldn't go up at all. That I don't understand. Ugh. Anyway, it's a cool game. I gotta admit that. It's a really cool game, but I just don't understand it. I just don't... All in all, it's not a bad game, but I just don't like it that much because of all these controls that make me so confused. There's just too much of it. And some of them, it, it is uh, the pro biggest problem, of course, that I have with it is that, uh, of course, you have to let go of the freaking fire button for him to stop doing the move. And, and then you start just fumbling around and... Uh, to learn this game, to be really good at it, you gotta practice like it's a real freaking dojo. And that's not what you want from a game, now is it? I mean, any game you can just practice and make it perfect, and no matter what kind of a game it is, the genre, platformer, FPS, uh, even horror games, but still. Uh, I would have thought this would be just a simple, fun game where you beat each other up. Like a Street Fighter style, or a Virtual Fighter, Tekken, whatever. But no, you gotta learn how to control your key, you gotta preserve your stamina, you gotta learn all the moves. Like a real freaking dojo. But still, not a bad game, it's cool. It's really cool. And very challenging because of that. And some people really enjoy this game, and I can understand that. I'm not uh, I'm not saying that this is a really bad game. I just personally am not good with it. We don't have a good love and hate relationship here. It's more like hate and hate relationship here. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.